There are so many leaks right now, so many leaks about the One Year 6.1 system, all the updates, the air stuff, about the hardware, the cameras, the size of the vapor chamber, the Snapdragon Agent 3 or X, you know, so many things about the S24 series. So I decided to only focus on those that I believe are fun. And fun starts where we have One Year 6. By the way, just go and visit this guy on X. A lot of stuff I got from him. So respect and credit to Bennett Bunner Pro. And now back to the selection that I did, guys. So One Year 6, when you start, apparently you can go inside the tips and there are plenty of new things, guys. There are really gonna be plenty of new things. Now, most probably some of them are going to be what we usually call like gimmicks, which are nice to have things, but yeah, you know, like just nice to have. Nobody is gonna use them, stuff like this. But some of these things here are actually quite useful. So circle to search, translate phone calls in real time, get writing help with writing assist, translate while chatting, you can also translate conversations, out of format notes, text, you can also summarize and translate web pages, translate your voice recordings, and then we have some nice editing stuff, re-imaging pictures with the photo editor, generate your own wallpaper, which is nice, extend your battery lifespan, already did some videos on this, some new battery protection tricks inside One Year 6.1 that you can even enable now in One Year 6, but they're not of course working, voice focus for clearer calls and etc etc now to start with the first thing generation of own wallpapers this already works i would say like 80 percent by using some of the pixel stuff some from google but the thing is you're going to be able to just go inside this new tool you're going to be able to select some keywords and like in this case was shown in this slick boom at some point you want to get like a teddy bear and yep yeah, the phone will just generate whatever you've put there and it will take some time and then boom based on your keywords you're going to end up with a teddy bear and by the way it looks very promising so again this is not new it is kind of AI, but here I think AI, guys, is not so important because I think right now what is really crazy, crazy, crazy fat in tech industry is generative AI. So it's just not simply AI, but like generative AI. Like what can we do out of like thin air, out of nothing? So this here is generated out of thin air with some keywords. And the other thing that I do believe is quite nice. And by the way, this most probably won't be a gimmick. We have circle to search. Now in this new AI functionality, you just focus on an object, you then just circle it and boom then your phone is going to be able to just look this up online which is uh, very simple if you think so and yet very clever because again i don't remember seeing this anywhere in any other phones oss whatsoever vendors then we have the re-imaging pictures with the photo editor now this is cool you kind of can again use generative ai to just get more of it so let's say you have a picture of a car but then you're somehow missing the part of the car and you can probably extend resize somehow the ai generative ai will kind of like draw it away like in this case you want to even out the dock and then the generative ai will just fill in the waves here and the sand again this is the photo editor helps you transform images with advanced intelligence and by the way just notice this samsung really love to use advanced intelligence they're already using it in the camera settings but with this thing you can move people around resize them remove them entirely again that's not new because in the pixel 8 pro we kind of seen that one only for the photos by the way the videos yeah i'm not sure if they announced this probably was part of one of the them feature drops but it's going to also end up here in one year six now something again not new and seen this in the the pixel but you have the chance to translate conversations so let's say you go let's say in japan somebody wants to ask you something or you want to ask something somebody you just put your phone and then you're gonna get the option to just speak your language and in real time translate it like translate conversations this here guys this is something that i can remember maybe apple i always had something like close like this currently generative ai in this case only probably ai and ml can be used to summarize web pages for you which is kind of nice so you open the web page you click the share button and then boom you get a very nice hopefully short summary about the key points in this article and um, this is going to be something cool translation web page powered by advanced intelligence and there's going to be other things guys but just imagine like how many new features we will gonna get and what is gonna be very interesting is to see how many of those will end up also in s23 and s21 and the a series and etc a few more days left everybody's pretty much thrilled don't forget i'm still waiting to get my oppo oh fine x7 ultra really hope that it's going to arrive soon maybe not in the next two three weeks but at some point i'm gonna have the oppo 7x ultra with the iphone 15 pro max with the s24 
24 Ultra and of course also with the S23 Ultra and just really test the shit out of them. So if you don't want to miss on that, please subscribe and yeah, stay safe. VSD over and bye.